Hello, hello, hello Dallas, how are you? This is Juan Ruiz, all the way from Sydney, Australia, and I have on my left side the beautiful Senorita, one of the superstars here at Tropical Soul, Kelsey Chao. We're so excited, guys, to be invited here uh, to be part of the Dallas Bachata Festival. I have known Jorge since 2008 when I organized for him to come to Australia and we did a tour teaching bachata uh, around Australia. So that's how long I have known him and how long I have been teaching. And I'm teaching what we call it Bachata Moderna. So Bachata Moderna is where uh, we kill the foundations of bachata, the same feeling. However, we do add some nice new ways to create different turn patterns, more intricate than just the normal side to side. So guys, what we're gonna do for the Dallas Bachata Festival, we are going to be doing a nice Bachata Moderna combo. So we want you guys to have fun, enjoy it. We're gonna do first with the, first with the counts, then with the explanation, and then with the music. Sounds good? Are you ready, Cassie? Yeah, I'm ready. Are yeah. you ready? Yay. Okay, guys, here we go. We're gonna do with the counts. So we're going, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 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 basic, other side, three, here we go, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, 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 six, seven, and one, two. Okay, guys, so we're gonna start with the count. So we're going from here. We're going in one, raise your hand on two, because we're gonna sing it for the booty pop. Three and four. You create that energy for you to create the booty pop. Now, bring it forward. Five, raise the left hand. The left hand is going to take it to turn on six. I'm going to step into the side, my hand connects on the back of her, on her lower back. I step in seven and eight. And we finish facing the same direction. One vez más. Ready? And one, two. We do the booty pop. Booty pop. I lift it step forward. Step forward with my right. And then on the six, I step to the side. Then on the seven, my right foot needs to be past her. Seven and eight. So then we finish the same direction. Ready and one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. So you notice how I went forward and then we finish facing the same direction. From here, what you're gonna do, gentlemen, you're gonna step back. However, you're gonna face our mirrors. One, good, that's what you need to create. You see how my shoulders are facing uh, my partner. Okay, so we're going here on one. Then we step in two, and then guys go three and four. And when I'm facing you guys in this direction, I look at my partner, Kelsey is facing to this side. One more time. Ready, and one, two, three, four. I'm going five, six. We talk about this, seven, eight. Now, gentlemen, you have to bring the left hand down, stepping back, one. Now, raise the left hand. Two, when you step forward, and then gentlemen, step to the side. Three, and let her extend the right arm because she's gonna create a nice hip movement with the extension. That's so, all, ready? Six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four. We are here, let's add more. Gentlemen, you're gonna lift it to come towards you. You're gonna bring the elbow in. Five, and then continue rolling. Six, seven, and eight. Up, uh, again. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four. From here, gentlemen, you're gonna have to tackle the elbow. You're gonna move to the side. Five, and then she's gonna come to you. Feet together, feet together, and finish here. Yes, last time for the guys, then we go for the ladies. And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfecto! Alright guys, so we're gonna do the 
guys, let's go for the ladies. So we're gonna go from the top. We have half a basic, one stop. Two, he's raised his hand up. Now he's gonna send you away. We're gonna go slightly down on three, pop on four. So you wanna think that your booty is popping backwards. Pop, yeah, here we go, from the top. And one, two, and down, and pop. Beautiful, now from here he's gonna send you forward on five. You're gonna start turning to the left on six. Keep turning, fix your partner. We're gonna snap our left hand up on seven. Bring it down by eight. So you're now facing the same direction. From here he's gonna turn you to the right. One, I'm gonna bring my left hand to touch my body. We're gonna slowly bring it up as we turn. So I turn to the right on two. I'm gonna turn on three and four. So I place my left hand just behind my gentleman's shoulders. So I can create a nice posture to do that, but check the hip. Now I'm gonna to turn to the left. So I'm just gonna bring me across with the right hand. I step on the left on five, to get on six, turn on seven, eight. So we're now facing the same direction, yeah? Ready, here we go from the top. Seven, eight, one, two, and booty pop. Turn to the left, up and down. Trace the body to the shoulder, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, cool. So as you can see, we're doing quite a bit of turns in this pattern. So you wanna make sure that you always keep your arm in front of you, yeah? If you're turning your arm is up and to your side, it's gonna be a very uncomfortable shape. You always wanna keep that nice, beautiful, what we call our Gans frame, so you can do the turns wherever, whenever the gentleman wants you to do. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, okay, so guys, so we have the first section. Let's continue, let's continue either. Ready, we're going one, Two, booty pop, bring her forward to the side. One, two, three, and four. Now, this part is a cool movement, a cool motion that you can do with your partner because you're gonna bring her to come to you. Five, six, however, on the seven, you're gonna hold for the eight and you're gonna continue leading her. So then the two of us are gonna raise our foot. Yeah, so this creates by the momentum of the motion. I don't want her to do the hip there and hip. I want her when she lands there to create the momentum because I, I need her to step and across forward in this, in this case, okay? So we go here. Let's go from the part, yeah? Here's the cool part, guys. So we're going here. Five, six, seven, one. Uh, so, so gentlemen, now I'm gonna be facing away from you guys on my one, okay? One more time, we're going to the five. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Good, bring the left hand down on the one because then you're gonna use the right hand for her to step to the side. Two, good, and then gentlemen, go with her. Three, and then I'd like you to have a little bit of styling here because you are connected to your partner's waist level at five. Let's go from the five, two, three, four, and step it to the side. Five, six. Now, on my seven to create that rotation, step a little bit closer to your partner. Yeah. Seven, eight, behind. Use the right hand to lift your left hand down, step to the side. Good. And then step it one more time. Three, and four. Uh, so, so this part is very important but we're going to take our seat to come here so we do it this way so we're going to be going here on the eight and we step in behind look at my hands I lift here but my left hand goes behind my partner and then we connect up I'm sure you're enjoying this ready and one two three and four five six here we go and down now and right Go behind her and one, two, three, and four. Raise your hand, you got it. Yay, super cool. <laughs> We're getting this. Ready? And one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, one, two, three. Here we go. And going behind and one, two, three, and four. Good. Now from here. You, you see the poster that Cassie Savage is wrapping around against my arm. So gentlemen, what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut through her line of dancing on five. And so 
one more time. You need to pass your lateral flexion. So I'm gonna step forward on five. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna be doing a tap, and I want to move on one here. Tap. Why do I do the tap? Because I wanna make sure that I stay with my left. I have my ball on my feet nice and solid because then I'm gonna go into this position. Let's do one more time. Let's go from the five. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three and four. Here we go, we're stepping forward. Five, do a tap, tap. Raise the hands step to the side, good. And then connect. So we talk about the footwork, now let's talk about the hands. Let it go from here. Three, four, gentlemen, bring the elbow in, five, on the six, you're gonna extend her elbow, six, extend her arm through the shoulder, seven, and then my right arm goes behind my pants back, you can see here, and then my right left hand goes by the shoulder, and I have the right position for a nice dip. Gentlemen, remember to stay nice and wide, so you are nice, solid, and stable for your partner. Right, so let's go from the five, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See you soon. Super safe. <laughs> All right, cool. Now let's go for the ladies for this part two, second section. Yeah. So we finish here on four. One hand on the shoulder. Your weights on your right. We're gonna turn on five. Six, seven. Now the momentum is going to continue. You're going to feel him keep leading you to turn to the left. You're going to swing your right leg out on eight. Stepping across on one. Yeah? So make sure that you continue with the movement. Don't anticipate to go forward with the hip. Follow where he's leading you with the arm. Yeah? Here we go. Three, four, turn five, six, follow around, cross one. So from here, he's going to bring your left hand down. We're going to step behind the left foot on two. The right hand is released. We're going to bring it across on three and tap four. So as you can see, my whole body is wrapped around. I can feel his hand giving me tension across the waist. And I'm going to create this beautiful line. He's matching me as well. There we go. Now he's going to unwind the other way around. We're going to bring the right hand up, step the left foot on five. I'm going to keep the hand up, turning on six, stepping back with the right foot. He's going to bring my left hand down. I'm going to turn to the left seven. Now he's going to bring it over my head. And he's going to start grabbing for my right arm. I'm going to step on my right foot. Eight. So you're going to finish with the weight on your right leg rather than the usual tap. Because we're here in a very different position for something special. Yeah? Here we go. Let's go from the turn right here. Yeah? Three, four, turn on five, six, seven, around, one, two, extend the arm, five, six, seven, step, eight. Beautiful. So you can comfortably place your left arm over his beautiful tricep, his bicep. Yeah. yeah. Feel those muscles, yeah? And make sure your right arm is wrapped all the way across your partner. Don't be shy. Give him some trust, yeah? Awesome. Okay, so that's the part guys where we want you guys to be very comfortable doing the moves. You see the turns that we create, the flow, and then you get into a position where you can do your dips, your sensual style, your waist, whatever it is that you want to do. So, few things guys. Booty pull, booty pull, very important. You need to create the opposite tension here. Because it's going that way, my tension is going this way. We create some drama. Now we're going five, six. Another important step to the side. Eight. Yeah, but we need to play the same direction. Then this uh, scoop, very important guys, to go over your partner, but then move to the other side. Yeah, so I was here before, now I'm here. This part is important. When you roll her in, step behind her and then create the momentum. Hold the eight, you see, it doesn't have a hold in it. So then we stop on one. Now the flow is to go with the right hand to leave her to go, continue, Boom, and then to make it nice, guys, you need to step out of her line to go onto the 
deep, sensual, sexy, body rolls, whatever it is that you want to do. So if we do it this way, we're going one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Good one. One more time, guys. I want you guys to see all the sides possible. Okay? We're going this way. We're going one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's so, all. So, one thing you have to keep that in mind is the use of the quadrants, okay? Headline of dancing, don't make it too circular motion because that's gonna get create confusion to your partner and to you as well because you don't know where you need to finish. Okay guys, so now the last section. When you are here with your partner, boom, nice and strong. How I like to do, we're gonna do, start with a dip from here, gentlemen, my left hand is back here on the arm. Now when I do the dip, boom, what I'm gonna have here right now, guys, is opposite to my partner so her torso is going to my left my torso is going to my right so when doing the dip boom yeah so you create a nice line it is different than going with her this is a lower dip we don't want to create it we want to create a higher dip when we have a gentleman a nice a frame so we're going to here boom now from here gentlemen what we're going to do i'm going to use my elbow elbow to break her hip here, yes, and I'm gonna be rolling her to the side, to the body roll, and up. Good, one more time. All this is flowing, yeah? Honestly, what I want you guys to get out of this lesson is the nice flow of the movement. This is extra. I'm sure that you have a lot of instructors who are gonna be teaching you with this essential style, which is really, really good, yeah? So I'm just, in we're incorporating into these patterns. So we're going, we're going, boom! I'm start going, you see how I'm breaking her hips, I'm moving my hips opposite towards my partner, I roll. That's so good. So if we are going from here, from there, that's all we're going here in five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, yeah? One more time, let's go, same section, we're gonna move a little bit more here. Three and four, five, six, seven, eight, one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, so I I have the eight counts to create this essential shape. I leave her for the dip, one, two, and move her hips, and three, four, we do we roll five and six, down seven, up on eight, and ready to go. Yes? All right, cool. Now here are some ladies' tips for that last dip. Um, it's very flashy, it's a really pretty move, but we also want to make sure that we do it nice and safe, yeah? So one of the common errors with the dip is people just love to throw themselves back. They think they want to go, huh, you know, without any control, but it could actually hurt your back and it could also hurt your head a little bit. So the rule of thumb to make a dip really nice and pretty but well and controlled is to think that your hips are pointing up to heaven. Yeah, hips to the ceiling. So you're holding your partner with your right hand across his six month in or the back of his six month in. You have the left hand here for that slight extra support as well, yeah? So we are going to use the supporting leg. I'm gonna bend slightly into my right knee so it's pointing forward. I want to point my hips up to the ceiling, then I can relax my shoulders and my head. Yeah, so this is a bit more of a higher dip. So don't try not to go too low. You only want to go as much as your partner is leading you, yeah? So here we go, let's try the dip. We go down on one, two. Now he's going to push your hip back as you come up on three. You're gonna swing your hips around on four. So notice how your weight is now going onto your left foot. He's gonna lead you into a body roll. Five, six, sit on seven, back up on eight, and into whatever he wants on the next. Yeah, here we go, one more time with the dip, with the timing. Seven, eight, dip, one, two, over three, swing, four. Body roll and sit and up, 
Eso, there we go. Nice. You guys are nailing it. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, so that's the move complete. Let's put it together, here we go. We're going in one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basic, one, two, three, other side, here we go, and one, two, three, Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, raise the leg, one, two, three, five, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basic one. And I'm sure you love that because you got it, you're enjoying this, and now it's time. here at the Tropical Soul Dance Studios. We are based in Sydney, Australia, and I want to invite you, I want to invite you, if you ever happen to be here coming to this side of the world, to Australia, to Sydney, definitely come to Tropical Soul Dance Studios. You can see Kelsey is wearing her t-shirt. This is her dancing t-shirt. I am wearing the t-shirt for the Sydney International Bachata Festival, which is the first bachata festival in the world. Back in 2008, that's when we had the first bachata festival. So definitely try to make it, when the borders are open and everybody can fly freely, we would love to see you here in Australia. Now another thing, you can follow me, you can follow Cassie. Where can they follow you, Cassie? Um, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram, uh, Latin Geisha under dash Kelsey, K-L-C. Yay, and follow the studio, Tropical Soul Dance Studio as well on Instagram. You can, you can find me on Instagram as well, uh, Juan Ruiz Bachatero, I believe. I don't follow much stuff, <laughs> and but then definitely follow my YouTube channel. We do have I put a lot of the work that we do here in classes, my previous videos. So just search for Juan Ruiz Bachata. You can find me there. But most important, guys, more than following us, it is we would love to see you guys 
in person live here one day at the beautiful Tropical Soul Dance Studio. Yeah? With that, guys, we want to say goodbye. It's been a pleasure. Hope to see you guys there. And ciao! ciao.